With April being Earth Month, it's the perfect time to get a lesson in environmentally conscious wine. So today we're raising a glass to Mother Nature with Natalie McLean, who offers Canada's most popular online wine classes. Welcome back to the show, Natalie. Yay! Yay! We love a visit from you. Yes, I know. <laughs> I know what that represents. So Natalie, there are several ways that a wine can be made eco-friendly. Mm -hmm. um, and today we're going to focus on a few of them today, starting with vegan and vegetarian wine. I don't know about yes. me, or you guys, like I, I didn't no, I assume they were all yeah, vegan. Yeah, so, exactly. Like, Grapes, it, right? Yeah, tell us about this. Well, it's all about the clarifying process. So okay. let me clarify that for you. Okay, please, yes. And I should also note that I'll be using recycled humor throughout the segment <laughs> so that I can, I can minimize my impact on the audience. That's okay. Oh! So yes, just Very trying good. to think ahead. Yes. Okay, so the clarifying process is when they remove tiny little particles yeah. that can create cloudiness in the mm -hmm. wine and an overcast feeling of doubt in the wine buyer. Yeah even though they're perfectly harmless. Ah. The particles, not the buyers. So <laughs> yeah. what they do is they add these fining agents to fermenting barrels of wine. Okay. And as these float through the liquid, they glom onto these tiny particles, they float up to the top, and then the vintner scoops them out. Gotcha. Now, commonly used fining agents include egg whites, ah. milk proteins, oh. gelatin, animal, which are animal proteins, yes. and bizarrely, Isinglass, which are fish bladder proteins. Wow! What? 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 I didn't know this. Exactly. Oh my gosh! Lots Mind of raised blown. eyebrows. Yeah. yeah, and it doesn't change the taste. It doesn't change the, the clarity. Exactly. So vegetarians are usually okay with milk proteins or egg whites. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But for vegans, all four are out because trace amounts could be absorbed into the wine, even though they are harmless. Yeah. Fair yes. enough. So tell us about the first vegan wine you've brought us. Okay. So we have the light, luscious Lilius Chardonnay from Westcott. Uh, vineyards in Niagara, and mm. this one, yes, isn't that nice? That's lovely. E even on the smell, but they don't use any animal products in making their wine. So you've got aromas of golden apple and pear yeah. and honeycomb. Crispy. Isn't it lovely? Yeah, it's really yeah, lovely. Yeah, absolutely. So completely vegan there. This is gorgeous. And you, it. Uh, yeah, it doesn't, I mean, I would never know. I, I no. Never know yeah, in the first place. Um, know. What's the second vegan wine you have for us? So I have Michel Charpoutier La Vie de Billa Haute. The Côte de Roussillon village. It wow! Is, hey, that's five times fast. Yes, it Ooh. is a mouthful to say. A mouthful to drink, too, yeah. right? Yes. <laughs> um, so this is a lovely blend of red grapes from southern France. And here's an insider tip. If you see unfiltered or unfined on the label, that's almost always a vegan vegetarian wine. But it doesn't look any cloudier. Either, no. Neither one of them do. It so doesn't. they're using a different processing method. Yeah, mm. one that does not involve animal products. Amazing. That is so interesting. Is that nice? This is fantastic. Full-bodied, smooth, lots of dark fruit going on there. Yeah, yes. you could do this every day if you wanted to. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's move on to our next category, which is organic wine. Right. So what makes a wine organic? All right, so making wine is a two-step process. First, you gotta grow, grow the grapes, mm -hmm. then you gotta make the wine. Mm -hmm. So there's a difference between organically grown grapes and organic wine. Oh. So the first one, I know, okay. mind blown. Yeah. Um, the first one means that the winemaker is not using any synthetic chemicals in the vineyard, like fungicides, gotcha. fertilizers, all that sort of thing. Okay. Organic wine takes that to a next step further so that there is no synthetic additives or agents in the winery during oh. the winemaking process. So both gotcha. have to be together? Exactly, to get organic wine. Uh, got it. Okay. And so what that results in is something that I think the wine is better for the environment, mm -hmm. um, you know, local reservoirs of water, any potentially harmful chemicals, local wildlife, not to mention the people who work in the vineyards and in the winery. Yeah. So organic wines are one of the fastest growing categories in the liquor store. I oh. love that. Okay, Isn't so the cool? first organic wine that you brought for us today is a Rose. Tell us about this wine while we sip. Okay. It's the Adobe from Emiliana. It's a organic reserva from Chile. It mm. has lovely aromas. Oh, Isn't that nice? Yes. Oh my gosh. A field strawberries and watermelon. Mm -hmm. I love this one. This Isn't is my favorite nice? so far. Yes. Oh, good, good, good. This good, is good. so refreshing and crisp. And it's also vegan. So if you turn around the label to the back there, Jess, nicely done, you'll see a certification uh, symbol for organic and vegan. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so, so that's where that's you, look. What you look for. It. I you love can it. look that. Now, 
there are wines that are following organic practices, but will not show that uh, that symbol. But if you see it, you know you're guaranteed. You know okay. you're guaranteed. Yes. Okay, so tell us about the second organic wine you've brought us. Sure, I have Dog Point Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand. Okay. The lovely, cool climate Ooh, yeah. of Marlboro. You're yeah. picking it up, yes. yes. So that's just bursting with grapefruit and oh, limes yes. and lemons, but not a hint of wet dog, right, Jack? Not no. a hint of wet <laughs> dog. No. no dogs here. That is actually a term in wine. We don't want it. No. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what do you think? I, I like that. It feels like like textbook Sauvignon Blanc. It does. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's mouth watering um, and yeah, juicy. Yeah. Get your right yeah. 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 Exactly. Loves um, it. Okay. So there's another classification called biodynamic. So right. what's the difference between organic and biodynamic wine? So biodynamic takes organic winemaking to the next level. So right? it's like superhero wine. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's like woo. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> it uh, it connects. Uh, winemaking to the cosmos. So maybe a little woo here, but I think the more attention to uh, making wine is better. So they're going to use homeopathic-like um, preparations in the vineyard, like chamomile tea and okay. all kinds of things, because they want to encourage the vines to sort of self-heal yeah. and, and oh, thrive. It's kind of like yeah, a, a it's detox very, for vines. Yeah. yeah, don't they like plant it even at specific times? Like, exactly. With the moon it's about is, the astrology, the yeah. stars. It's like and, witchy. Witchy. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> winemaking. Like like that. That. Okay, our final category of wines that are ones that are made with sustainable farming plant practices. So talk a little yes. bit about this. So sustainable is yet another category that's a little different from what we talked about. Um, what the winery is trying to do is minimize its impact on the environment mm -hmm. by reusing, recycling um, all the energy and inputs or water, okay. that sort of thing, while they make the wine. Oh, I love that. They often follow organic principles, but they're not guaranteed to be organic. Okay. Okay, so tell us about your first sustainably farmed wine. Yes, this is a full-bodied, luscious, Syrah wow. from, oh yes. Very, yeah. it's, a, it's very powerful. <laughs> yeah, from Hester Creek in BC's Okanagan Valley. And it's so great because they use recycled water to water their vines. Then they take the grape skins after harvest and compost them back into the soil. Oh my goodness. And they regulate the temperature of the winery by having this earthen roof that's full of flora and fauna <gasps> and beehives. And they use the honey from the beehives it's in the winery so restaurant. I, I love, love it. stories so like and that. It's a great wine. Yes. It is. It's oh, really yeah. good. Yes. Wow. Uh, I immediately want to cheese with that one. Yes. I don't know if that's mm -hmm. anti-vegan. Uh, oh, nope. not, this one's not vegan yeah. anyway. Yeah. Okay, you're, good. You're free um, to choose. We have come to our final wine. Tell us yes. about this Cab Cabernet Sauvignon. So this is Benziger and it's from Sonoma, Sonoma County in California. And Bensinger is a pioneer in um, sustainable winemaking for the past 35 years. And uh, it has a sustainable designation on the label. But what's really cool is that throughout the, the vineyard, the vines, you're going to find um, sh wandering around sheep and oh. cows and butterflies and oh. birds and lost tourists. Yeah. <laughs> and they all create this vibrant <laughs> ecosystem. Yeah. Um, it's really lovely though, the, the vineyards, it's worth visiting. Oh, oh my tales gosh. You tell and <laughs> tales you tell. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing all of these eco-friendly wines for Earth Month. Hey, let's give a cheers to yes. Planet Earth. Yes, here oh, we go. Cheers, you guys. Mother Earth. Cheers. 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 Thanks for watching. We've got lots more discussion and debates on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.